Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we want to have a text box which has a watermark property. And for this tutorial, we will be using the word required as a watermark. So by doing this, uh, we will be able to learn how to create a custom control. Uh, so to start, we will create a new uh, class library project. Then we will just need to add a reference to the system.windows.forms so that we can inherit the text box object. And then let's just rename our class. So we will just inherit the text box object. Then we'll just add the constructor. Then next we will just add properties that we will be needing. So first the watermark text. Then we will add the property that will be visible on the property window of Visual Studio. And whenever the property was clicked, or the required property was clicked, we must show or hide the watermark. Let's just add the method. And here is the trick. Uh, we will just add a panel on runtime. And this panel will hold the water watermark. So we will add the panel on the text box. And remove the panel. Then we will just uh, draw the watermark on the panel. So we just need to add a reference to the system that drawing. Let's just point it. Uh, the next, uh, what if the text box receives focus? So we must uh, show the watermark or remove the watermark rather. When the text box lost focus, we must show the watermark.
And finally, what if the user clicks the panel or the text box? So we must uh, remove the watermark. So that's it. Uh, so let's just save the project and we will build it on release mode. So that's it. So let's just close this project and we will create a new one where we can test everything. Uh, then next, we need to add a reference to the DLL that we built earlier. So let's just copy its path. And now let's just open a new file explorer and paste the path. And now let's just copy the DLL and paste it on the toolbox. The magic begins. So we can see the required property. Uh, so let's just add additional controls so that we can test it. And let's just set the properties. And finally, let's just test it. Let's just put some name or value in it. So it's working great.